بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Many people seem to question why do we continually talk about the Khawarij and the Tekfiriyun, those people who declare other Muslims to be apostates, and then those other groups and individuals who believe in wanton violence and extremist ideologies and associate that with the beautiful religion of Islam. So why do we continue to talk about these individuals and this creed and have and distance ourselves from those kind of individuals? There's many reasons for this ayu al habba but one of the main reasons is because these individuals do exist. And that the Prophet alayhi after salatu wasalam said al khawarij kilab al nar that the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said as was narrated upon him sallallahu alayhi wasallam that the khawarij this group these extremists that they are the dogs of the hellfire and due to the danger of being described as a dog in the hellfire meaning that low, low, low status and being in the hellfire showing us that there's punishment tied to having this ideology and advancing this minhaj, this methodology and practicing this and being extreme due to the seriousness of that alone makes it imperative that we warn against that stuff and then the fact, the second reason is that we see individuals amongst our community who are either tainted with that ideology, they're, they're affected by it and they have some doubtful beliefs which are uh, related to that type of ideology. And then we have others who are purely from that sect or they have many aspects in their creed, in their methodology in relation to the Khawarij, that they're ignorant, that they're extreme, and that they spend their time and effort harming the honor of their Muslim brothers and sisters and declaring them to be apostates when they have no right to do so, meaning that they're not aware of the criterion for that, nor are they the people who have the ability to do that based on knowledge, nor should they entertain those uh, these ideologies because they do not know the conditions for doing so and the criterion for doing so and those things which prohibit a person from doing so. And so for that reason, when we see that in our communities, people who have this, these distorted ideologies, people who have secret groups where they have the bayah, they call to have a secret uh, Pledge of Allegiance. We see this from uh, many external sects, meaning they're, they're not from Islam practicing this. The Masons do this. They have a secret pledges and secret pledges of allegiance. The uh, Nation of Islam, uh, many other groups that are non-Muslim groups and sects practice this, but this has nothing to do with Islam. And as far as groups and sects, but ple pledging an allegiance to the leader, the imam of the Muslims, then that's something different. Ayu al habba it's imperative that we continue to refute, continue to put down in our community, continue to educate our community, and re-educate those people who are have those distorted beliefs so that they remove themselves from calling people to revolt, calling people to protest, calling people to make takfir of their brothers and sisters and busy themselves with this, call, uh, and, and, and those individuals 
who speak against people who have no effect on their community are far from them and they spend their time and energy making tech fear of them without, as we mentioned, the, the conditions and prerequisites for doing so. And busying themselves with that and not even praying themselves in the, in the mosques or in the masajid. And themselves not even being adherent to the principles, the basic fundamental principles of Islam, nor being aware, nor based on knowledge, being aware of those things. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from those takfiriyin and those khawarij and those other people, those other extremists who try to hijack the religion of Islam and the beauty of Islam and distort Islam and call people to wanton violence. May Allah protect us from them, free us from them, guide them to the straight path and protect the Muslims everywhere.